And in other matters, the National Transport and Safety Authority has suspended the operating license of some 200 public service vehicles plying the Kisumu Bondo Highway following a fatal accident that killed six passengers. NTSA says the vehicles belonging to Kistok Sarko shall be subjected to mass inspection and their drivers retested within 14 days before being allowed back on the roads. The move comes just days after NTSA suspended the operation of member traveller Sarko following an incident in which a female passenger died after being thrown out of a moving vehicle. Over 200 vehicles belonging to Kistag Sako have been removed from the Kenyan roads after one of them collided with a lorry along the Kisumu Bondo Highway, killing six people. According to reports, the driver of the said Matatu was not authorized to drive at the time of the incident. We see it wise as a Sako to come all to come for an inspection for all of our fleets so that when we resume our operations, our vehicles will be up to date to do the, the general public service uh, uh, job. In a letter signed by NTSA Director General George Njau, the authority shall conduct safety audit to all drivers and conductors to ensure full compliance of all road safety measures to guarantee sustainable safety practices. Two weeks ago, NTSA suspended the operations of member traveller Sako after a female passenger was killed after she was drawn out of a moving vehicle.